And recently, News 6 hit the road with a team of law enforcement looking to hunt down fugitives. News 6 investigator Mike Hallfeld rode with a fugitive team. He joins us now with the results. Mike. Hi, Matt. Results score one for the fugitive unit. Good evening, everyone. As one investigator told me, when people ask, why can't you just catch them all? Well, uh, here it is. It's like trying to catch all the fish in the lake. They're out there, but they keep moving. The manhunt for alleged cop killer Markeith Lloyd. Six-figure reward, hundreds of tips, a lot of dead ends. And I know for a fact people knew where he was. Nine days later, they finally got him. The fugitive had been hiding in plain sight, living in an abandoned home. If somebody knew, they weren't talking. It's all about some myth that I call it. It's some code of honor. That code of honor impacts the caseload behind these doors. This is Orange County's wall of warrants. 26,000 active warrants, 5,400 felonies. There's an insane amount of people that are wanted for various crimes. Paul Zamboris, former fugitive unit lieutenant, is at the helm of CFIX, Central Florida's Intelligence Information Exchange. But you'll get them? Yeah, of course we get them. Usually they can, they can run, but they can't hide. They can't, you, know, you cannot run the warrant. They are very aware of their surroundings. Sergeant Chuck Stallings is the point man on this fugitive search. We're in zone nine, stretching from John Young Parkway to Pine Hills. But I have to have three detectives to work that one area because so many warrants come through. Was Lloyd in that zone nine area too? Yes. Orange County's fugitive unit is tracking this man today, Antoine Burnett, wanted for alleged dealing in possession of cocaine. About an hour into our search. It looks like our target. It happens. Agents spot Burnett at a 7-Eleven parking lot near John Young and OBT. Got him. You rolling, Greg? Yep. Detectives show him the warrant he says he didn't know anything about. You have your day in court just like everybody else, but you got to fix the warrant. Sometimes you're still going to go to jail. You have a warrant. It's got to be cleared. If it was the wrong guy, we would have said, hey, thanks for your cooperation. Have a good day. And we would have left. As I told you, we got him. One down, though, hundreds to go, including these guys. LaMarcus and Ulysses Harvey wanted for second-degree grand theft. Detectives say they've been on the run now for a year. Intel we have suggests they're still in Central Florida. So if you know anything about these guys, their whereabouts call Crime Line 1-800-423-TIPS. Matt.